Hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumin Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. Thanks so much for watching my video. Thanks for joining today. And a lot of you are going to be feeling what's coming up here. So that's the reason why I've got this. Today is March 19th and tomorrow is March 20th, 2015. And what I'm going to say, wow, because we have a triple whammy coming up here. We have uh, the equinox, the spring equinox here, fall equinox in the southern hemisphere. Today is the last day of winter. And let me tell you, in the United States, especially in Chicago, maybe in Boston, some other parts, New York, we are so happy that winter is officially over and we're going into spring tomorrow. So endings and new beginnings, this, this is a day of endings. And a lot of you are bringing things to a finish point. What has been culminating for you and coming full circle, it's about to conclude and finish, officially a finish. Um, there's also a new moon and there is a full solar eclipse. Not partial, a full one. Uh, visible from Iceland south into Europe. And some of the other planetary influences are going to be Saturn, which is providing stability during this time. It's going to be Uranus, which is holding the expect expectancy. Expectancy of a lot. Expectancy of changes. For a lot of you, expectancy of your union, or the physical encounter of your twin flame. And my videos, while anybody can watch them, they are specifically for twin flames, particularly people from all the color rays, because all of the color rays are converging now. It's no longer just a blue ray thing or gold ray or you know, whatever color ray. And these are not names I'm picking out of a hat. These are actually things. So uh, some of them for right now are uh, people from who most recently assisted with the ascension in Neptune. People from the blue ray, a lot of people in the blue is love. Vega, the green, green is compassion. Aldebaran is red and that is passion. Nibiru and Antares, these are sacred love, the Nibiru especially, sacred love, and Antares is the heart, and these are the orange and the pink rays, and there's variances on the pink, it could be um, coral, salmon color, uh, pink, fuchsia, anywhere in that. And, um, of course, you have your own personal colors, and these are evolutionary parts of you that you have opened and mastered. You have mastered this in a planetary paradigm at a physical level of living. And so the aspects of love, compassion, passion, sacred love in the heart, we're putting it all together. We're bringing, we're bringing it in, bringing it home, bringing it home. Okay. And where is your home? Well, for twin flames, it's your twin flame. For other people, it, w it might be a divine counterpart connection. And twin flames can only do some of this stuff with each other. It's just that way. That's how it is for us as twin flames. You cannot phone it in. You can't do it with a soulmate. There's a lot you can do with soulmates. But uh, a soulmate is still a soulmate is a soulmate. An ex is still an ex is still an ex is still an ex. And when it's your twin flame, that's the only person in the entire universe who actually can assist with this to do the finishing, to do the healing, to do the merging. And that's a beautiful thing, especially for those people who've already met your twin flame or you know who it is. Please give some gratitude for both being here at the same place at the same time. These are exciting times. So... The other part of this, the solar eclipse, what is going to happen is that you've got uh, the moon, the new moon, the dark, and the dark side will be facing us, blocking the ray of the electric masculine of all the spectrum of colors from Europe and the first wave, wherever the first wave is touching. And so I, I have sort of a, 
a thing here to illustrate how this would look. And it's as simple as this. We are, we've got, you know, we're yanking out the old connections and we're plugging in higher and we're elevating. And then we're going to turn it on. Okay. And to put it in more of a context, you do have people that um, they've been, you know, one's waiting, one is awakened or had a really profound awakening and maybe this is her and this could be any couple this could be a man man this could be a woman woman this could be a man and a woman this is what I happen to have so what you are literally uh, you know you have her saying or she or he saying come on come on and meet me it's time for this to happen and what are you doing but wait there, another plane went down in Malaysia. We've got to we've got to do something. We've got to do something. No, we do by being. We have to be together. That's how we're going to raise up that, you know, reverse vortex of energy. No, we've got to do something. And and so, you know, what'll happen is that as this person is able to um as, as much as we're able to block the electric masculine from doing, 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 and staying connected to old things, uh, a lot of people, and this is not just men, this is not singling out men, this is uh, men, though, with uh, electric masculine energy. It can be women with electric masculine energy. And you do see people that are highly effective uh, with those types of energies. Uh, sometimes you'll see them... Uh, doing jobs that men do, it doesn't mean, you know, anything about their sexuality. They have uh, that drive, they have that action. It can be someone who's a painter. It could be someone that does work on a house. It could be someone who is a mechanic. It could be someone that is um, a paramedic or something like this, firefighter. And so, well, well, when they do come together, this is when they will be merging and entwining each other and pulling up those places that they've been connected to, that they've agreed to for parts of their grid. And this has been done this way on purpose. We designed it this way. We designed this particular ascension this way because we saw the writing on the wall when it, Atlantis was falling apart. We had to do something differently than we've ever done. So people with memory of how did we ascend Neptune like I did, where it was a lot easier than this. I actually have a clear memory of it. Um, and it was easier. However, this is happening this way. This is where we're releasing some of, releasing some of the worst soul damage from here. It's being transmuted. And so it's been a process over um, several years. We actually do have uh, things ready for a lot of people, for a lot of things, for a lot of situations to change. And but as we as we saw things fall apart, and a lot of people saw the writing on the wall, and it's just like now, people can see the writing on the wall. People want to fight about it. People are bickering about it. Some people want to start a war, and we're getting busy. We are not taking time. It is getting done. It is getting done. It is both a ground swell, which is why you have a lot of the electric masculine appearing to be still in 3D Earth. Do not blame him. This is the upliftment through the crust of the Earth. And also, um, here, let me show you this. Because a lot of people have had, they've had the weight of the world on their shoulders. And they have, they've had families, they have jobs, they have responsible positions. They've literally got to crack off those connections. And a lot of you are helping your twin flames do this. Okay, you're helping the masculine, whether, whether this is a man or this is a woman and she's like, oh, my back is killing me. I've got all the kids, I've got the family, everything wants to weigh in on my life. And yeah, she's got to crack that off and, and, you know, get rid of those old connections. Because when those people do that, you know, they're literally 
t unplugging those old connections and elevating them a lot higher and their love is going to fire everything up so the other things I want to tell you about is um, how this will work is yes as you know solar energies affect your body lunar energies affect your body the other planetary influences people are going to feel this you're going to feel affected you're supposed to feel affected by it it's this is um this is startup here this is really the green light it is the startup we have been setting up and the setting up has been going on for the past 30 to 50 years right here on this planet but not just on this planet it has been those other places that you literally have had to yank yourselves out of these and this is why some people have past life memories they'll have flashbacks they'll have sometimes horrific memories the stuff of nightmares and it whizzes past them it shows up at night um, pay attention to especially your male children if you have kids and especially boys but it can be girls too if you have uh, uh, someone you love near you who is male uh, pay attention to them because they actually may have uh, nightmares that are actually their past life memories leaving encourage them to keep letting it go if they need to talk it out talk it out but then you know you have to relegate that to ancient history because you are literally traveling through the fog the mental miasm of the collective here and those people who are really prepared who've been preparing for several years you're going to experience this in a different way this is going to be going on from this weekend for about the next four months more or less for some people and again the timelines are very fluid it depends if you put yourself back into old you re-engage in old things you pick up with a soulmate who shows up from 10 years ago or you um, go back to an old job and nothing's changed you know the real keys here are if nothing changes you feel bored you feel uh, really strange about it move along get yourself moved along um, you're pulling up from below but your your resolutions are coming from above and we're coming we're the literally the essence of a lot of the people that you've been waiting for when people say to me you know my twin just doesn't get it well what are they supposed to get actually because if their mental body is rapidly leaving what do you want to stick back in there you want their heart and you want their body where it is at is here and here the body not the brain not the, not those icky remembrances you want their essence they're pulling their essence in. this is why I showed you that some of this is coming in like an aroma some of it's being released like an effervescence of those tablets you put into water and it like just gets the gunk off of things so some of you are not being patient through this process it is very fine it is minute it is elemental it is ethereal and it's at the molecular level and for some of you you will feel the pain right down to your bones at times it is that intense but what I can tell you is that embracing your new body light body and being new because some of you I, I do read for a lot of people for some couples that's the only reason they're here is to receive the new to be new become new and then do by being um, the intensity level is going to run anywhere from extreme pain for some people and for other people who have prepared it might feel mildly erotic and sensual and there's things to know about that remind yourself that you are a higher consciousness being um the people who are ready and are going to merge some of you some of them are not here in a body that's a part of how we're doing this some of them are not here in a body it's there's reasons some of the reasons is some of the people that were expected they couldn't get it together that's not always their fault there have been reasons and it's not the darkness it's fear 
it's fear of of leaving and positioning yourself and clearing the spaces and for some people it's it's different things it's um reengaging in uh sex old 3d sex with uh soulmates so if you put yourself out there on a plateau and you're sitting on that timeline things will move again but this divine timing of the earth ascension it's here and now. So we're not solely relying on people and bodies. We are relying on everything, everybody. So for some of you who have had a twin who has departed, if you've had a twin who's committed suicide, died, somehow other, you know, they're not, they're not here in a body. Those are some of the people who are going to be doing merging. Meanwhile, the children will be holding and anchoring energies. Be kind to your children. Be kind to everyone around you. Be kind and patient, especially with your twin flame. Because your twin flame, they're you. Do to that person what the way that you would have them do to you. You know, if you're going to do them dirty and you're going to say things to them or about them, especially publicly, that's just, it's not very um, light, you know, that's all I can say, is try to rise above it, no matter how angry you feel, the expression of that, you got to find other ways to get rid of the anger, and anger can be a twofold thing, anger can help you find your dignity again, but anger can also um, fester if, if you leave it like that, if you don't take proper actions to release it. So the the startup we're we're in it now. We're getting ready to do the startup here. Now I want to show you a couple things that I've had here. And some time ago, for people that have been watching my videos, you may you may actually recognize this. This is a little map I made. Okay, this is a map of people that I've actually spoken to. And this has been um, my honor to meet people from some of these places. So I, I drew lines of all the places I've talked to here. So all of these are like, you know, it doesn't look like the prettiest flower, flower petal. But um, a lot of activity in and around Europe, that's because I don't really speak other languages. I speak some Italian, some Spanish. That's it. Um, but it will be for people that are English speakers, my own country, um, but from Tahiti, South America, and there's all these places. Now, there have been some people most recently from Southeast Asia. This is a real trouble spot. Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and parts of uh, lower uh, South America and parts of Middle Africa. These are some of the parts of the uh, third wave and subsequent waves for next year. But we've got to get the foundation going. We've got to get some of this going. So, um, as you know, there are three waves coming into place this year. And of those waves, there are people that uh, we'll rely upon some of your guidance, some of you paving the way, making things easier. But there's people coming up behind you, not just the children. There are people that are beginning their awakenings. I've talked to some of them where they just awoken six months ago, a year ago. Some of you have been waiting for 30 years. Some of you have been, you know, it's like a really fast crash course to find out what is this, what does this mean, only to find out it means twin flame, twin flame, twin flame. So uh, part, of, uh, part of what is happening here is not only getting people into place, getting their bodies new, there are going to be new ways to heal. There's going to be new things about the body. Not everyone is going to teach or heal. There's a misconception that everyone's a healer or everyone's a light worker. No, we, we're getting to the fun stuff. We're getting to the kissing, to the passion. Uh, the work is going to stop. The work is going to cease. You know, love isn't supposed to be about work. The releasing of the wounds to love, that's been the work. So what I want to show you is um, this other map that I made. And this map I kind of illustrated here. 
Um, this is, I, let me move this a bit closer so you can see it. What I, what I want to show you is, um, this is this is part of Europe, and here's the United States, and here's Australia. So in Australia, some of this is already started up. Okay, the the grids, and you have um, what I would call a negative vortex of energy, like a downward spiral that's been near some of these places. The twin flame couples that are are coming together. And again, some of them are sort of in the atmosphere, but a lot of them are actually in the major cities. Brisbane, um, cities in Queensland, Queensland, sorry. Uh, also in a lot in Melbourne. Melbourne's like a hotbed of twin flames. And you are uplifting this. These are parts of the old Lemuria. Tahiti is loosening up. That's the southern part. And what is what is the equinox? What is the equinox? Equal day and night, equal light and dark, but it's the equalizer for the masculine and feminine energy. And so the pulling up and adjusting, and then these energies are going over to parts of the United States, the west coast of the United States, and then to parts of Europe. Now, the part of Europe that's being obscured from sunlight, and from what I understand, there's been some concern. I don't know if I should say fear, um, but Europe actually gets a lot of its electricity from solar energy. So those batteries have been working full time to make sure that everything's fully charged because this is the first time this is happening since uh, moving over to mostly solar. People don't know, these scientists, they don't know if there's going to be brownouts. And so, you know, please stay steady, stay calm, because as you well know, there are people that with the senses of their head, you know, their head will say, well, there's a solar eclipse, there's, you know, things. But the actual physical, emotional hangovers that are going to come out of you, Woo, 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 woo. And then they wonder why some people are bipolar. It's not that they're necessarily bipolar. These energies are like, woo, 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 woo. It's coming off of, out of people. And it's waving off and there's intensity. There's, there's the essence of source love coming in. Love is, is coming in in increasing uh, ways. So you're going to have um, the parts of Atlantis and also Lemuria uplifting and starting to balance and the balancing and the merging will take uh, quite a bit of time it's going to take at least at the very least a few months to about two years for some people this is actually um, this is actually a little clearer map so I do intend to have much more information about a lot of this, like for daily living, in my webinars. If you haven't bought my webinar, please check one out. They are actually very reasonably priced for the chock full of information, but there's not just chock full of information. I know this stuff because I am a Blu-ray Twin Flame and I am one of not only the creators. Now, I don't want to sound superior if I can explain it this way. When I really first became awake, I became aware that there was something that needed doing. I was absolutely on fire and this is a part of it. My guides knew me better than I knew myself at certain times and know what we're just like you. Your guides know you, they know what you're capable of, okay? They know why you're here, okay? You can't, you can't mess with your guides. Um, the thing is, is they, they knew that I had been one of the creators and that I was here to finish and conclude some of my long ago agreements. And so I had the support, but part of that was um, being a transmuter, being a prototyper. So what I talk about in there is me prototyping parts of the body and how do I know it because I live through it that's how I know I am living this night and day this is a beyond 
This is multidimensional. So this is you becoming the multidimensional being that you actually are and being able and enabled. Okay, not disabled, enabled. Enabled to cure, enabled to heal. So the part the part of Europe here, and of course, this is this is the start, both here in Australia and here. And hello, Australia. I was just listening to some Olivia Newton-John songs, and she's got some good songs. Uh, A Little More Love, Xanadu, and also um, Have to Believe We Are Magic. Nothing can stand in our way. Okay, so the people that have made all these connections and many of you have been making the connections for your grid point whether you're from there whether it's your nationality this is happening by a vibration of the God particles that live inside you there's a ripple effect here it's it's going okay the thing the very last things that your uh, twin flame might be hanging on to they're gonna start toppling okay Hold steady. Please don't be angry. What anger does energetically is it puts that wall. It literally pushes and that person can't tune in. All of these angers and negativity are clouding up the works here. If you can't find a way to be positive, then you need to take your foot off the accelerator and get back to some basics. Because um, this is... You know, there's not really any more dark forces. I can tell you as a transmuter that anything dark, it's already been and gone. So if your head is still telling you this, if you're reading stuff, cease and desist. Stop yourself. Stop yourself. What what are you addicted to the pain? So please, please don't. This stuff is moving into place. Now, I will say this because I wanted to get an idea of how will this be, how will this feel. We have had a partial planetary ascension about 8,000 years ago. And I even made some jokes with some friends. I said, so that's why the Mayans left their pots cooking with, you know, food and they just up and left. Well, in some ways, yeah, that's the truth. However... Um, This part of the ascension is vastly different. We are not evaporating immediately. It's not going to be like Star Trek where we teleport. Uh, Some people have described their elevated state as teleporting. But what what I clearly got was that um, around 1969, this wave of free love, you know, more or less around in the late 60s, where people were becoming lovers, expressing themselves. A lot of men, a lot of men breaking tradition, being the indigo trailblazers that they were, a lot of women, free love, feminism, you know, all these things that were launched as a result. But a lot of us are the result of karmic relationships. And so um, the very next one, the harmonic convergence, which I, I experienced that as literally a feeling of wanting harmony it upset me if people were gossiping at the office another thing that i will say to you is uh while it's not intended to be painful for people that's never the intention of love that actually is the case things you you the break up with old things can be painful however on the other end of the spectrum this is uh, the feel of, of divine love and the love of your twin flame. It's coming in, and it is for one-on-one, one-on-one, not with a group of people, not free love. So we're, switch, we're, we're making the shift from that, taking it out of the collective because we've already had this convergence of so many rays of various soul groups and we've cleaned and cleared you've cleaned house or you're still in the process of it some people will still be awakening and you're going to find out that um, what you've loved will love you back and things will come back to you so I want to encourage you today to really um, 
ride this wave of love that's coming in because it it can be intense for some people but there's going to be some really good results you there's going to be surprises there's going to be miracles there's going to be small miracles and there's going to be big miracles and changes a lot of the things that you've wished for to change will begin changing and the very thing that you want to not be alone to have a companion to have a love to have a lover to have sweetness kindness living right with you it's here and it's it's here for you and that's the plan the plan was to put everything back into the right place clean it up and you know make more love that's it so thanks so much for watching I wish everyone a very um, happy uh, solar eclipse happy equinox and really use these energies wisely to wish outside the box to if you make one wish you gotta make it for everyone just like when you're in school if you have one can oh you have to have enough for everyone so if the wish is that you know there's abundance or I wish I I'll tell you one how many people are diabetic and they wish they could have some kind of sweet dessert wish it for everyone Okay, that's that's how we roll. That's how twin flames do this. It's it's expansive. It is beyond this world. So thanks so much for listening and have a very good day.